Hello Geometry students! In this video we're going to look specifically at composite figures where a portion of the figure has been cut out, so there's some kind of indentation. And we're going to be looking at both volume and surface area, and these are the two pictures we're going to be working with. Let's go ahead and start with this first one. And so what we have here is two hemispheres. A hemisphere is half a sphere. And the first thing you want to be able to do in your notes is to copy this down. So I would suggest drawing kind of, even though it is a circle on your paper, it's going to kind of look like an oval like this. And you're going to draw another oval right on the outside of that. And I'm just going to clone mine because it's hard drawing on this. There we go. So you've got two ovals, one outside the other. And then the last step that you need to do is just draw this little bit down here. And you've basically got the figure that we're working with. And now what you want to do is add the information they gave us. So they told us the diameter of the outer one is 10 inches, which means it's 10 inches all the way across. But most of our formulas just use the radius. So I'm going to mark this with a 5 for the radius. And the intersection hemisphere is 8 inches, which means that the I'm sorry, the radius, which is half the diameter, would be 4, like that. All right. So the very first thing we're going to do in this problem is volume. Now the volume of a hemisphere is related to the volume of a sphere. So we know that for a sphere, it equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So what we have here is a hemisphere, and then we cut out a hemisphere. So we need to find the big hemisphere. I'm just going to call it a hemi for short. And we're going to also find the small hemisphere. And so we're going to use this formula up here, the 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we know the radius for the big one is 5 cubed. But we know we just need half of that. And for the small one, we're going to have 4 thirds pi times 4 cubed. But again, we just need half of that. All right, let's get some numbers, and I've got Desmos ready to go up here. So I'm going to just do 4 divided by 3. I can type the letters pi, and it turns to pi, and then times 5 to the third. And then it turns out if I highlight this whole thing and put a divide bar, divide, divide by 2, there we go. And then the other calculation is just like that. So I'm going to copy and paste it right down there. But I'm going to change that 5 to a 4. That's good. Now, what are we going to do with those two numbers? Well, we've got this 261, and when we find the other one, it isn't more, it's actually less. So we're going to subtract it. And a quick way to do that, I'm just going to use A and B don't actually stand for anything. It's just a way to store it, and then I can put A minus B, because I'm going to take the big one minus the small one. And now I'm going to add all those numbers to my answer. So the big hemisphere was about 261.8. And the small hemisphere, 134.0 if I go to one place. And then I subtracted them for my final answer of 127.8. And we're finding volume. So volume is cubic. Um, so we're going to take our units, which is inches, and write inches cubed. All right, good. So we've got the first part done. And now we're going to go and do the surface area part. I'll switch colors just to keep my work a little organized. So for surface area, I'm thinking about like if I took paint and I wanted to paint this entire thing, I'd have to paint the outside and the inside. And I also have to paint this ring here. So there's kind of three places. There is the outside. There's the inside. And there's the ring. All right, and um, it'll be helpful to remember that for a sphere, our surface area was 4 pi r squared. So my hemisphere is half of that, and that's easy to see because half of it's going to just be 2 pi r squared. So for the outside, that's a hemisphere, and so I'm going to do 2 pi, and my radius is 5 squared, and my inside is going to be 2 pi times 4 squared because it's also a hemisphere. Now that ring that I'm talking about is this part right here, that flat part right in here. And its area also would be covered in paint. And that ring is taken by taking a big circle minus a small circle. And each of those circles are pi r squared. And so that would be 
let's see, 5, so pi times 5 squared minus pi times 4 squared. And now I'm ready to start throwing those numbers in. I'm going to just kind of hit these x's, get rid of my old work, and here we go. The first one was 2 pi times, I can do 5 squared in my head, so 2 pi times 25. The next one is 2 pi times 4 squared, which is 16. And then this one is going to be 25 pi minus 16 pi. And I'm going to give these letters. So A equals, that's the outside, and B equals, that's the inside, and this is the ring. And all of these are going to get added for my final answer, A plus B plus C. There's my final answer when I add them all up. So I'll just transfer it over here. I've got 157 about, and this is about 100.5. Down here, I've got about 28.3. Remember, this is where I'm putting paint. So I'd paint out here, and paint here, and paint on the inside. And I'm going to add them all up in this case for a final answer of 285.9. And this is going to be inches. And because I'm finding area, area is two dimensions, so it's going to be inches squared. All right, we've got our first problem done. Let's move on to our second problem. In this problem, we have um, a cube with a pyramid cut out of it. So on the left side, let's go ahead and just work with volume. And basically, all we have to do is take our cube and subtract our cone. So we just need the formulas for those. So our cube, I mean, it's length times width times height. Or, so that's just going to be 6 times 6 times 6. That's easy. Our cube, you'll recall, was base times height divided by 3. And our base was um, pi r cubed. Actually, I'm going to make this in two rows like I was doing before. That moment when you're like, oh, this would have been better a different way. So I'm going to do a little eraser. So this was 6 times 6 times 6. Um, I happen to know that's going to be 216. All right, and then my cone, we said, was base times height over 3. And our base is a circle, so pi r squared h over 3. And this radius, when they say this whole thing is 4, that means our radius is going to be 2. So we've got pi times 2 squared. And our height, if we look at this, it goes all the way down to the bottom. So the height's going to be the same as for the cube, times 6 all over 3. All right, so I've got that 216. And let me just check to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. Yep, that's 216. And then this other one is pi times 2 squared is 4 times 6. And that whole thing um, divided by 3. There it is, 25. And we'll just call this A equals, and we'll call this one. B equals, and what are we going to do with those two numbers? Well, we've got the entire cube, and when we take the um, cone, we're actually subtracting it out. So we're going to do A minus B, and there's our final answer for this one. So we took the 216, and then we had the 25.1, um, and we're going to do 216 minus 25.1, because we're cutting out that cone for an answer of 190.9. And since this part is volume, we're going to call that centimeters cubed. All right, so we're ready for the surface area part of this problem. We'll switch colors again. And for our surface area, we got to think about if we're covering this in paint, what do we have? Well, a cube has six sides. And so we can think of those six sides so we've got six sides, and each one is a square, but five of them are solid one, and one of them has a circle cut out. So I've got five, which are like this. So I've got five of those six times six ones. But I have one of the sides, which has a circle cut out. So I've got the area around the circle, and so that one's going to be... Um, 6 times 6, or 6 squared, minus the circle, which is pi r squared, and my r was 2. Look at that answer in a minute. And then on the inside, I have um, my um, cone. And you'll remember that the lateral area of a cone is actually a sector like this. 
And we had a formula for sector surface area, or the, actually, let me rephrase that. It's the cone lateral area, which is a sector, and the formula was pi r l. And l was right here. We have to figure that out. I'm going to go back to my picture over here and just kind of mark it up a little more carefully. So that l is this side right here. This is our l, our slant height. And if we go in here, we can do a little um, Pythagorean theorem. We've got a right triangle. This top is 2, and our height right here is 6. So we're going to have to figure out that L. So I'm going to come down here and just transfer that over. So here's my slant height, L, 2 and 6. So I've got, let's see, 2 squared plus 6 squared equals L squared. And so let's say 4 plus 36, that's 40. So the square root of 40 is going to be my L. So I can come back up here and say, okay, pi, and then r, that was the radius 2 that I had all along, 2 times square root of 40. And now I'm ready to kind of grab all those answers and get a final answer here. So I have those f um, five sides that are... Um, have nothing cut out. So that's the first one. Oops, there we go. Now we'll call that one A. And then our next side is um, a square with um, a circle cut out. So we've got pi times 2 squared, or that's just 4 pi. And then our last one is that sector where we have pi, and we have it times the radius, times, and uh, let's see, square root of 40. There we go, and we've got all of the pieces, and those are all the surfaces where we're going to add up our area, and so now we just have to do A plus B plus C, and there's our final answer, 243. I'll just transfer the numbers up here. We had a 180, we had a 23.4, and we had right here um, 39 point, whoops, 39.7. I want to point out that this work is just kind of an aside, so I'm going to just squeeze it off to the side. I even make it a different color so I don't get confused that it's not part of all of this, it's just figuring out that L. And so then I added up all of these numbers because remember, if I'm painting this, I have to take my paintbrush and paint on the inside. I've got to paint all the sides. So I add them all up, and my final answer is 243.2. And because it's surface area, I forgot to label this. Because it's surface area, it's going to be 243.2 centimeters to the second.